بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم ویلکم ٹو دس کورس آن دا ٹو ڈیس کریوٹ دس از لیکچر نمبر فائیو اینڈ ان دس لیکچر وی ول لرن ہاؤ ٹو ایڈ دا فوٹنگ ٹو وال اینڈ کالمس سو وی ول بی ایڈنگ کنٹینیوس آر اسٹرپ فوٹنگ ٹو دا وال اینڈ وی ول بی ایڈنگ دا آئسولیٹڈ فوٹنگ ٹو دا کالمس Now in order to provide uh, isolated footing to the column and continuous footing to the wall so for this we will first go to this foundation level and right now I am in the foundation level and here in the structural tab you see uh, the isolated footing and the wall so we are first going to load the footing for the wall so we will be selecting this wall and here you see the dimension of this footing this is uh, this is a uh, 36 by 12 inch uh, mean the thickness is 12 and the width is 36 so we can modify this uh, in order to modify this so click on the edit type and here make a duplicate so from here you can uh, change the name uh, and provide with a new name so i will select the width as uh, 30 and the thickness is uh, by default 12 so now here change the dimension the width uh, is uh, 2 feet and 6 inches so select uh, this one uh, as 2 feet and 6 inch so let me correct this and now uh, here uh, click ok so now select the wall uh, to which you are uh, going to provide the footing so click on this so the footing will be provided now this one and one by one uh, provide the footing to all up your walls and now uh, provide this to the remainings uh, provide to all of these walls now select uh, this one uh, ignore this and now uh, provide to this one and similarly uh, for the remaining walls uh, one by one and now finally provide the footing to uh, this wall so this is how i provide the footing to all of these wall you can see these uh, footing correctly uh, clearly in the 3d view and now the next task is to provide uh, footing isolated footing uh, to the columns so here i click on this isolated footing and here uh, i saw this that no structural foundation family is uh, here so i will load this from the uh, family so this is the rivet family and here uh, i will select this one and then uh, select the us imperial and here you will see the structural foundation option so go straight to the structural foundation and click on this so once you open this so here you see the different uh, family so the first one is the uh, footing and below this the file cap so since we are uh, adding footing to uh, our column so click on the footing and here you see this uh, uh, footing isolated footing is loaded and now you can change this uh, dimension of these in order to change this uh, click on the edit type this is 72 by 48 and uh, by 18 so change this and make this in the square pump make the dimension 4 feet by 4 feet and the thickness is 18 inch and uh, this is changed now and now uh, you can load this uh, change dimension uh, family to your project so i have changed this and now you can um, if you want to uh, change the name because we have changed the dimension so i will make this 72 as 48 and select this that the uh, name uh, represent correctly the dimension and now you can add one by one to the column as well but there is a short method as i uh, told you in the lecture to uh, where we are uh, loading the columns uh, to all the grid points so here you can add or provide this footing to all of the grid points by the same method so i have selected the grid option and now select all the grid and then hit the uh, finished so here you see all the footing are provided to your columns uh, at just one click and this is very fast and uh, accurate method and the Autodesk Revit for providing the footing and columns to all the grid points 
and now you can see these putting uh, the continuous putting and the isolated putting in your 3d more uh, correctly and clearly so here you can see this um, uh, footing uh, which are the continuous putting that are provided to the to the walls and isolated putting to the columns so this was uh, the method for providing footings and your structure so hope you like this tutorial thank you for watching take care allah Hafiz.